in media and government, there are four types of normative theories of the press. The authoritarian theory, the Soviet media theory, the libertarian theory, and the social responsibility theory. Normative theories of the press. Media theory refers to the complex of social, political, philosophical principles which organize ideas about the relationship between media and society. Authoritarian theory. This is considered the oldest form of theory of the press. Media are not allowed to print or broadcast authority which should undermine the established authority and does not question the state's authority. The role of the press is to educate the public of government politics and prevent threats by using censorship. In this theory, all forms of communication are under the control of the governing elites and authorities, and the works of media are suspected to censorship. Censorship means suppression of any communication which may consider as harmful to people. This is familiar in press, which is against the freedom of expression and freedom of speech. Types of censorship, political, moral, religious, military, and corporate. In this theory, we can say that the role of the press is to be the servant of the government. The second theory, Soviet media theory. Media organization in this system were not intended to be privately owned and were to serve the working class. It provides restriction on the press which is about to cycle change by influencing communist values and denouncing democratic rights. This is a state-owned and closely controlled media existing only as arms of state. In other words, Soviet media theory, also known as totalitarian theory, the press is run by the government to serve the government's own needs. There were criticisms between the two. The main difference between the authoritarian theory and Soviet media theory is that while the former allows both private and public media ownership, the latter allows strictly only public media ownership. Another difference is that, while the authoritarian media mainly focus to maintain the societal status quo, the Soviet media is often used to bring about societal changes. Authoritarian is a one-way communication process. There is no feedback allowed from the public. While the Soviet media, it is a two-way communication. At the same time, the whole media is controlled and worked under the same leadership. Libertarian Theory Media may attack on the government policies and even encourage. Moreover, there should be no restrictions on import and export of media messages across the national frontiers. The press is free to report on the government. Freedom of information is generated with no restriction and censorship. There is no law governing media operators. The press belongs to the people and serves as an independent observer of the government. In this system, functions of press are to inform, entertain, and advertise. Social Responsibility Theory Media should accept and fulfill certain obligations to society. In this theory, the press should adhere to codes of conduct and social responsibilities to serve the public without outside interference. Obligations are mainly to be met by setting high professional standard to informativeness, truth, accuracy, objectivity, and balance. The press is obliged to serve several social functions. The first, to provide the news and information needed to make the political system work. Second, to give the public the information needed to self-governance. Third, to serve as an overseer of the government. Fourth, to provide entertainment. Question. 
What type of media do we have here in the Philippines? Thank you for your academic indulgence. Hashtag Media Evolution. 